So the other one, I'm going to go flip to the opposite. So we've talked about past negatives imagery. Now, another bit that goes perhaps less noticed or not as noticed as it should do in depression is, is the hypothesis that people with depression actually find it quite difficult to visualize positive future uh, images. And if we think about that, this is very important, like our ability to, to navigate towards a goal, to dream about the future, that's actually predicated on our mind's ability to imagine what that future looks like. Ah. And this might be a really simple thing, like getting out of bed in the morning, um, imagining how one's going to you know, navigate the day, something to look forward to, to, to really quite specific hopes and, Im and images of the future. So, so again, a suggestion for, for assessment and possibly to weave into the treatment would be to, to think about a focus on positive future image-based thinking and to bring that into part of our wonderful toolkit alongside all the other things we're doing, but to really think about that specifically. Very interesting. Okay. So to also, in addition to assessing past negative images that the person, depressed person may be having in excess of, the idea is to assess how able the depressed person is to generate positive images of the future 